The resurrection of Jesus Christ is a fact. You see, I'm not going to put my faith in a fairy tale or in a legend. No, I want to be reasonably sure that Jesus rose from the dead because I'm not going to give my whole life to a man who's the son of God if he didn't rise from the dead. But I am sure he rose from the dead. There is so much evidence of his resurrection. And I know some of you are atheists, skeptics, agnostics, critical of Christianity. But I'm here to tell you, the resurrection is a fact and there's a good evidence behind it. First of all, the fact that Christianity spread in the first generation of the resurrection gives evidence that something really took place. You see, if the resurrection was a legend, as critics will claim, then legends don't start off in that same generation and get a foothold and spread so quickly. No, it takes generations for legends to grow until people start to believe in, in these legends. But yet Christianity spread so quickly that Nero called Peter to Rome and had him crucified upside down. And we have records that he arrested Peter. If Christianity was not a powerful growing faith, why is he crucified? Why is he persecuted? We find evidence that the Christian church spread rapidly in the very generation of the resurrection. That gives great evidence. We also have eyewitness testimony, written letters from them. Two of the gospel writers, Matthew and John, they were eyewitness of the resurrection and they tell the gospel story. Then you have Peter. Peter's an eyewitness and he writes in 1 Peter 3 that we're saved by the resurrection of Christ. So even Peter, who is an eyewitness of the resurrection, writes in his letter about Jesus' resurrection. Then you have St. John, an eyewitness. He talks about how he handled the word of life. James is an eyewitness. Though he doesn't mention the resurrection, he would not be a believer if Christ had not raised, been raised from the dead. And how about one of the greatest persecutors of the Christian church, Saul of Damascus, who later was named Paul, a persecutor of the church, but something happened where he saw Jesus. And he writes in 1 Corinthians 15, he mentions all the people that Jesus appeared to, including Peter and the other apostles. And he mentions 500 people Jesus appeared to. And Paul writes, most of them are still alive. Think about it. Most of them are still alive, but some have fallen asleep, he says. But then he says, last of all, he appeared to me. Paul's whole life was changed because he witnessed the resurrection. Friend, the resurrection is a fact. And the fact that Jesus is still performing miracles today gives another evidence of the resurrection. Yes, friend, I believe that Jesus rose from the dead and it is a fact.